Square Enix. Yuji Hori. Akira Toriyama. Koichi Sugiyama. Marjo Sonic playing Nintendo 64 on Switch Online. I should really turn those notifications off. Hello everybody, it's me, your good friend Sparky, and welcome to Dragon Quest. The first of two video game projects that I am doing in dedication to the dearly departed, beloved Akira Toriyama. Because I love that guy and everything he did, but I never really have invested a, te a ton of time into Dragon Quest before. He is the artistic talent behind the visuals to pretty much every Dragon Quest game, I'm pretty sure. And I just... Dragon Quest is not one of those series that I've ever, like, invested a lot of dedication into playing. I played, I've played Dragon Quest games before, but I've never played, like, the classic Dragon Quest games. And I hope to rectify that, starting with the original, or at least the remake of the original that's available on Switch. So we are going to venture forth into our journey, and we are going to presumably quest for some dragons. I just had to let that finish playing. Venturing forth, let's create a new adventure log. Adventure log one. We are, of course... Spar... Er... Ours right here. Spar... He... That is our name. We are the legendary hero, Sparky. Um, message speed... Three? Four, I guess? I don't really know. Music loud! Sound effects loud! Uh, yeah, hopefully it's not too loud. I tried to adjust uh, video volumes beforehand to make sure that everything sounds okay. And I think it does. So hopefully we won't have too many issues hearing my voice over the sounds. <laughs> Sparky! Skion of the bloodline of Erdrick, hero of legend! Skion? Skion? I don't, I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> Long have I awaited thy coming! In days of yore, thy revered ancestor did receive the almighty goddess, the s uh, receive of the almighty goddess the sphere of light. Boy, uh, ye olde English is going to trip me up a bit here. I have a hard time reading regular English. <laughs> By its power was our world rid of the menace which did beset it. Yet, alas, some few years passed there did arise a new threat, the Dragon Lord. With his cunning, he did steal away the Sphere of Light from us, plunging the land into darkness once more. Should this state of affairs be suffered to continue, the night must surely take unrelenting hold at our realm perish. So I say unto thee, Sparky of the bloodline of heroes, vanquish the accursed dragon lord and reclaim the sphere of light. In the chests o'er o'er yonder wilt thou find items to aid thee in thy quest. Take that what thou wilt with my blessing. Partake thee also of the wisdom of those loyal subject ga subjects gathered here in my throne room. Doubt not but their, that their knowledge will serve thee as well as any shield. May the goddess guide thee to victory and return thee unto us ere long, brave Sparky. I mean, if you say so. Um, yeah. Let's check out the treasure chest. A torch! Nice. And we have... 120 gold coins. Also cool. And a magic key. Awesome. Hi. Dost thou know aught of poor Princess Gwelyn? Gwelyn? 
No. Princess Gwelyn is the sole heir of His Majesty the King, who does not have a name. Or maybe his name is just King, like the character from Tekken. Since the, the old, untimely death of Her Majesty the Queen, also just named Queen, Gwelyn hath been our beloved ruler's sole source of comfort. Alas, half a year prior to this day, foul monsters saw fit to tear the princess from the bosom of we, her people. His majesty speaketh not of the tragedy, but tis plain the loss doth pain him deeply. Brave Sparky, I beg of thee, deliver the princess from her plight. Sure thing. To the east of the castle lieth a sizable settlement. Therein shalt thou find establishments offering weapons and armor which will serve thee well upon the battlefield. Shouldest thou ever come to harm in battle, lay thy head at to rest at the inn. Thy wounds will be healed ere thou wakest. Yeah, just, uh, you know, getting impaled in the stomach by a freaking spear. Just go to the inn and it'll be better in the morning. If th thou hast partaken of the contents of each and every chest, thou shalt by now ha have found a magic key. Use the, the use the use the this key to open yonder door, and thou shalt lose it forever. Yet use it thou must, for beyond that door, that adventure begins in earnest. I mean, okay. Open the door. Here we go. Oh, there's more people. Okay. If thou wouldst, wouldst rejoin thy quest from a point of thy choosing, thou must need to record thy deeds in an adventure log. Good to know. If thou wouldst rest from thy quest a while, thou must request of the king that thy deeds be recorded in an adventure log. So talk to the king to save my game. Gotcha. In days of yore, lo, the fair city of Tontengel was a veritable fairground, wherein the merrymakers of the world did play. And yet now we are beset on all sides by foul fiends, and the golden days are no more. Sniff. Ah, sweet memory. Sob. Unfortunate. Sigh. O oh, princess, princess, where art thou? Could it be that the foul fiends who took thee have taken thy young life also? Nay. We cannot. We must not surrender to despair. Brave Sparky, I prithee, th I, I, I prithee, forget all that I said. Henceforth, hope and hope alone shall guide me. Good to know. Good to know indeed. You know, if she was kidnapped a half a year ago, they could have called me in sooner. I ply the trade of the traveling merchant. Lo, countless of our brotherhood are fallen at the hands of roaming beasts of late. Full of fiends have I lost, sigh, merely to speak of them bringeth tears to mine eyes. That sounds like it sucks. Did thou hear the rumors? No. They speak of a town laid ruined by marauding monsters. I mean, I feel like that goes without saying, but whatever. You don't have any keys, unfortunate. Thy priority, um, my first priority must be, must ever be to hone thy skills by battling beasts. As thou gaineth, gainest in experience, thy level shall increase, and so too shall thy might. Right, gotcha. Neat. Oh, I accidentally went to the menu, but there we go. That's how you get to the menu. You press the A button. Okay. Item spell status miscellaneous. Uh, notably, there is a quick save option, so we don't necessarily have to talk to the king to save our game, but we'd probably recommend it still. To be all, to be alone with my beloved is to forget all that threatens, threaten, threateneth this world. <laughs> but alas, I cannot put our plight entirely from my thoughts. For my lover informs me that were our world to be destroyed, our love too must surely perish. Depressing. Would that I might pass all the remaining days of my life alone with my beloved. Yet the knowledge that a monster might rob us of this simple joy at any moment weigheth heavy upon my mind. Yeah, it seems like a bad time overall, if I'm being perfectly honest. No door may be opened without a key. 
But alas, tis the curse of the magic key to crumble into dust after but a single use. That does not seem like an efficient way to utilize keys. If I had to get new house keys every time I entered my home, I would be very upset. <laughs> uh, we can't even really get in there, it looks like, because I think we're blocked off. If thou questeth in caves or dungeons dank, a torch or two will serve thee well, friend. It is in the places where the darkness doth penetrate most deeply that the fiends do throng thickest. Gotcha. Oh, Princess, Princess Quaylen. You're just on the floor, sure. When dark doth spread across the land, light shall return by Erdrick's hand. Oh, Almighty Goddess, we pray that the ancient teachings ho hold true. May thy light shine upon brave Sparky's quest. Thanks. Hopefully it doth shineth upon me, or whatever. Uh, can I? So, I mean, this is... Like, the earliest example of an early... Oh, can't not go around the castle. Gotcha. Important to note. Hi, I'm back. The castle of Tantagel bids thee welcome, wanderer. The castle of Tantagel bids thee welcome, wanderer. I was just here. Uh, right. So, uh, let, let, let's, let's just save our progress. Let's talk to the king. Hi. Yep. Oh, we'll gain exp a new level and seven experience points. Gotcha. Go ahead and just uh, make a record there of our current progress of having found things in chests and opened a door. And I don't think we can get around the side there quite yet. We're going to need more keys, more magic keys that will crumble as soon as we use them. Hello. The town of Tentagel bids thee welcome, wanderer. Cool. But oh, yeah, since this is probably the earliest example of a JRPG, um, I don't think it's going to be too straightforward in guiding us where we need to go. So there might be more than one episode of me just kind of wandering around and just talking to people and doing nothing. But um, if I ever feel like I'm completely, totally helplessly lost, I will check in on guides or something to just kind of guide me along and keep the series going. If I feel like I've hit a wall and I just don't know what I'm doing, you know? <laughs> Welcome unto thee, friend. Prithith thee maketh thy way into the premises and state thy business o'er the counter. Cool. Thou art welcome, wanderer, in this our humble armory. How, pray, may we be of use to thee this day? Oh, we got an armory. Okay. Bamboo sphere. Oaken club. Copper sword. Plain clothes. Leather suit, leather shield. What? No, I don't. I don't want to talk to you. Shut up. Mm, items. I have a bamboo sphere. Go ahead and equip that. Sure. Okay. And it doesn't seem like I have anything else, which is a problem. I'm just wandering around completely unclothed and being sent out into an adventure. Um, let's see, we've got 120 gold pieces, so I think we're getting a leather shield. We will equip that. Okay, cool. And plain clothes. I think just that seems like an okay way to start. Probably should have saved some of my money. But now we've got these equipped. All three of them. In our three spots. And we have increased defense. And we will probably not get mauled by monsters quite as quickly. Maybe. Anyway. Wherever the path of adventure leadeth thee, beware of bridges! For verily beyond each bridge will thou find ev evermore fierce and... Fearsome beasts, 
Okay, beware of bridges. Gotcha. Home to trolls, typically, too. I am a wandering merchant hailing originally from Fair Galeholm. It is a handsome settlement far to the north of here and west along the coast. The lands twixt here and there are home to monstrous multitudes who hesitate not to make a meal of unwary wanderers. Verily, tis a miracle that I arrived here in possession of my beloved life. Indeed. May a courageous young adventurer halt set forth from... M many a courageous young adventurer hath, hath set forth from Tantagel Town. Alas, nary a one of them hath returned. I cannot help but fear that we are allowing thee to go forth to thy doom, Sparky. Uh, yeah, sure. A re real, um... Real, uh... Real positive attitude there. Don't have any keys. What's this guy doing hanging out behind the building? Sir, are you passed out drunk behind this building? Friend, I know not who thou art, but I do beseech thee, deliver unto his majesty the king this news. The expeditionary force tasked with the rescue of Princess Gwalin is no more. Prithee, thee, tell his majesty that I am so, so very sorry. Goddess, forgive us. Okay, and you're just gonna be passed out behind this building, I guess? Sure. Hey, uh, wizard, the uh, guy, you wanna go help that guy up there? Hast thou heard the te 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 Hast thou heard tell of the great bard Galen? They say he took his beloved liar onto his grave. Oh, to have heard him play. Unfortunate. I am engaged in the study of methods for the removal of curses. Shall shouldest thou ever find thyself afflicted, prithee thee seek me out, and I shall be glad to aid thee. Cool. Friend, hast thou heard? No. Yes, tis said that a town in the distant, far distant from this place, magic keys are sold as though they grew on the very trees. Oh, good to know. Considering I feel like I'm going to need a lot of magic keys. Thou art of the bloodline of mighty Erdrick, thou sayest. Hast thou proof? Yes. <laughs> Wherefore thou makest thou such grand claims when thou possessest nary a sign, seal, no s nor signet, betoking <laughs> thy lineage. If thou art truly descended from Erdrick, thou must need bear proof of thy birthright. Okay, yeah. Well, the king believes me at the least. Teehee, nay, nay, thou art mistaken. I am not the fair princess Gwalin. Blush. Though thou comparison doth flatter me greatly. Oh, thou art silver-tongued indeed, my lord. Very well. Take me with thee. Cool, I've got a girlfriend now. <laughs> Sup? Welcome, friend. Welcome unto thee. Prithee thee make thy way inside, and thou shalt be delighted to assist thee. I see. Oh, hello. Oh, we've got a humble item shop. Gotcha. Um, well. Hmm. This dragon squ scale seems kind of important, but we're gonna buy one medicinal herb. And now we have no money. Getting money is probably going to be an issue. To the south there lieth a great fortress shrouded in mist. Perhaps thou hast espied it in on espied it on thy travels? Well stray not near it, for it is the home of the Dragon Lord. Lo, merely to mention his name doth strike fear into my heart. Oh, and he shaked. That's how you know he's afraid. Also the Dragon Lord's castles, like right nearby. We could just like go visit him if we want to. Whatever. Uh, looks like we got an inn. I don't have any money. Sorry. Hi. Wouldst thou step out whilst thy gold and thy treasures shall ever be safe? Oh, we can store items. Gotcha. I don't have need of that quite yet. Cough. Sputter. We wear the gold poisonous marshes, friend. Shouldst thou attempt to cross them when thou art not in full good health, misery, and death? Shall be thy sole reward. Gasp. Unfortunate that. You seem like you're having a bad time. Well, we know one thing to do. We can go talk to the king and tell him that the 
Oh, my girlfriend's gone. <laughs> um, we can go talk to the king. Because we had that guy behind, the dying guy behind the building tell us to tell the king. Hi, king. I got bad news. Grace Barkey, that was returned to us. Full glad am I to see thee. Um. Okay. Apparently... Apparently, we can't actually deliver that news to the king. Okay. Cool. So... I guess... We just gotta kind of start wandering around. I'm a little nervous to wander too far away right now. Because... I do know... So, I played... Oh, hello. Slime. She slime. Hello. Hi. I can't cast spells. I'm gonna attack you, though. Aha! Two points of damage. Aha! You missed! You fool! And the she slime was defeated. Victory! Huzzah! Two whole experience and four gold coins. Very nice. Well, hello again. I don't want to wander too far away yet, because I am still very, um, not prepared for venturing forth, really. Um, I have played a little tiny bit of the first Dragon Quest before. Just a little tiny bit. Not enough to really get a grip on what the game is like, but I do know that you don't really have a party in this game like most other RPGs. Instead, you're just kind of on your own, venturing around, fighting stuff. And, yeah. Not nec- oh, Draki, cool. You don't necessarily have a heck of a lot of guidance as to what you're trying to be doing. For the most part. That's why, like, talking to people is really important. <gasps> I leveled up! Victory! Sparky reaches level two! Strength increases by two, maximum HP up, and six gold coins. Cool beans. I wonder when I get to start learning magic. Oh, well, that's the poison. Gotcha. Don't know if I necessarily want to deal with that. I'm gonna wander around, we're gonna see if we can find things. We're gonna we're gonna figure out what we're doing from there. Oh, bridges. I was told to beware bridges. Honestly, for the moment, just kind of going around beating up monsters is probably a good idea, just so I can get lots of gold and stuff. Honestly, these these starting area monsters aren't too dangerous quite yet. Do I have, like, a map to check? I do. The X button. Gotcha. Where am I? <laughs> I don't seem to have much of an indication of where I currently am right now. Which is unfortunate. Kind of like up in a corner with a little lake. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's like a little, little tiny marker up there showing me where I am. Okay. So we can use our map. Down there is where the castle and things were. And off to the left there is a little uh, location marker. Where we can go to a place, it looks like. Let's go, just, let's go see what that is. A little cave. Gotcha. Hi, she slime. Oh, we can take out a she slime in one hit now. We're, we're already getting buff. Uh, dare I wandereth into the cave? That is a good question. And there's a little thingamabobber up t up in the corner there, too. Uh, I'm gonna just kind of get the lay of the land and try to figure out where I am and what I'm doing for the moment? I feel like if I'm going to go ahead and go to into a cave... Oh, there's a town here. Towns are safe. Hi. 
Great Wanderer, will I hear a song? Yes. I thank thee, friend. Were it not for the lovers of music such as thee, my quest to emulate the leg legendary bard Galen would lose all meaning. That was quite a song. It was it was a very threatening sounding song, and I don't think I liked it. <laughs> Hi. Uh, we do have an inn here. Six gold coins, sure, okay. And we are healed. We have a maximum of 21 HP now, very cool. Welcome, Wanderer, to the storied settlement of Galeholm. Galenholm, gotcha. We, we heard someone talking about that. Thou art come from Tantengel? Then surely thou didst espy a cavernous shrine on thy journey here. I did. Tis said twas built to honor the name of the mighty hero Erdrick. Oh, okay, then it probably definitely is someplace we should go. Uh, look, we've got an armory. Definitely do not have much in the way of money to get better things quite yet, but that's fine. Hi. Long, long ago, when the great bard Galen did at last bring his wanderings to an end, twas here that he did settle. Thus did the town which sprang up from the dwelling become, become to be known as Galenholm. Because it's Galen's home. Gotcha. I understand. Thou knowest of the cause of his majesty's woe, dost thou doubt? Well, I did chance espy the culprits. Oh. Who? Why, the foul fiends that did bear off with Princess Gwelyn. Eastward did they fly, ever eastward. Sigh. Is there none within this realm with courage enough to go rescue her? Yes. There is? I bid thee bear, the, bear word to this brave soul, whomever it may be. Tell him that the princess was taken to the east. Gotcha. Thou art welcome, wanderer, to this humble item shop. Okay. Um, I... Don't know what the dragon scale is, but I feel like I should buy it just in case. Cool beans. And... I'll hang on to the rest of my gold coins for the moment. <laughs> Uh, and that's the exit. Gotcha. And... Well, I don't have any keys still. Yep. Oh, can I go... Is this... Whoop, whoop, oh, okay. Whoop, whoop. Is this something? Is this something I can do? Is this somewhere where I am? Nope. Okay, that's nothing. Gotcha. Alright, alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, we... Kinda sorta have a goal in mind. We've got a cave to go to, and we know the princess was taken east. Gotcha, gotcha. And the Drakis and she, she Slimes don't seem to be proving much of a threat, so that means we're relatively safer right now. Is there any indication of what this does? Talisman carved from the scale of a dragon. Not really. Uh, we can also go downward. It looks like there's another marker over there. But I think going to this cave is probably a good idea first. That being said, probably leveling up a couple of times is also recommended. Much like this! Sparky reaches level 3! Strength increases by 2, Agility by 2, Resilience by 1, Maximum HP by 2, Maximum MP by 4. Oh, and we learned Heal. Okay, cool. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. But I think, for the time being, uh, I might just wander, wander back to the castle and make sure my game is saved. And then I'll call it an episode for right there. We do have a goal in mind. We can go ahead and go explore that cave. And we know we eventually need to head east to try and find the princess. Yep, hi. 21 experience points, and we'll gain a new level. Let's save our adventure.
Adventure saved! We will continue our quest, but in reality, I think that's going to be it for the very first episode of Dragon Quest. So far, it's not too bad. I don't know how long that will last, but we'll find out. Uh, until next time, though, this is your good friend Sparky signing off, and I will catch you later. I wonder when we'll actually find a dragon on our quest. I look forward to that. <laughs>